Do you see how cleverly they are made? said Kay. Much more interesting than looking at real flowers, and there is not a single flaw in them. They are perfect, if only they would not melt. Shortly after, he appeared in his thick gloves with his sled on his back. He shouted right into Gerda's ear, I have got permission to drive in the big square where the other boys play. And away he went. In the big square, the bolder boys used to tie their little sleds to the farm carts and go a long way in this fashion. They had no end of fun over it. Just in the middle of their games, a big sled came along. It was painted white, and the occupant wore a white fur coat and cap. The sled drove twice round the square, and Kay quickly tied his sled on behind. Then off they went, faster and faster into the next street. The driver turned round and nodded to Kay in the most friendly way, just as if they knew each other. Every time Kay wanted to untie his sled, the person nodded again, and Kay stayed where he was, and they drove right out through the town gates.